Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jake's Games. Welcome back. I'm not changing the name, by the way. Uh, Water Vision Episode Five premiered last Friday, and let's just say it's the best one. Not only just saying there's some very important uh story threads, but some insane plot twists. Along with the long-awaited introduction of the multiverse into- I turned Australian there for a minute. Anyway, the long-awaited introduction of the multiverse in the Marvel Cinematic Universe was- was quite a surprise. You know what that means, right? You know what that means. Now, stopping with the Spider-Man 3 hype over here, um, let's talk about WandaVision, which is no doubt the best show airing right now. You know, during the pandemic, uh, everyone's on their TVs, you know? Everyone's on Netflix, Hulu, Disney+. Plus. Um, yeah, WandaVision's the best show out right now. Not really, like, what is, what, what is its competition? Now, of course, there's better shows out there, uh, but none of them are actually airing right now. They're, they're on Netflix. Don't, don't argue. Though, as running an Arrowverse fan page in TikTok with over 5,000 followers, I can say that WandaVision better than any Arrowverse show I've seen. Now, no doubt have I had more hype, more excitement, more passion for any Arrowverse show than WandaVision. WandaVision every week bring out bangers. We got episode 1 and 2. Pretty good, but we don't know where the direction is going. Episode 3 comes out. You know, we... It was a great episode, right? Episode 4 comes out. Blows everyone out of the water. Blows everyone out of the water. Nobody knows what's about to happen. Except the theorists. I'm talking about you, my pap. It basically ruins it for me. No, I'm joking. Uh, I love you, my pap. Uh, anyway. So. WandaVision is the number one show right now. With the amount of mystery and theories being made by this show every single day it's really held up but you see my point right this show is legendary at this point i believe wandavision is better than 60 percent of the mcu now i'm not saying the mcu has bad movies but there are a couple of objections basically thor 1 thor 2 and hulk they're awful so all around, the MCU is quite good on its own, um, not even thinking about the X-Men universe. Which might add, I haven't seen it in a very long time, I probably don't remember anything from it. Like, I, I'm saying I saw this movie when I was 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, and I don't remember a thing from him. I just remember Storm throwing Toad off the building or something, I don't know, I remember that. Doesn't matter, but the introduction of the X-Men into the MCU is <laughs> delicious. With the purchase of Fox uh, by Disney, it is now coming to me that most things are possible. In Doctor Strange 2, they could introduce the Fantastic Four and that other one. But don't get your horses horsing. Um, I'm still a little skeptical. With a lot of what all the directors and producers are saying about this, it may be a little while before we get these. Now what I hope for this December to be the best December of my life? Yeah! But would it be surprised if it was just a normal Spider-Man movie? Yes. That's why Doctor Strange 2 has to be the best MCU movie ever if they don't have Spider-Verse. If you aren't watching WandaVision, in conclusion, why aren't you? And if you enjoyed my commentary, uh, please subscribe. And if you really hated it and you got really politically offended then please press dislike but make sure to press it twice to make sure i get really upset about it that's been me jake absolutely enjoying my life and uh i hope you are too make sure to never rewatch batman versus superman and i'll see you in the next one